This is an open letter to Dr. Tedros, the Director General of the WHO, in response to the accusations against Taiwan during the 8th of April WHO press conference. Dear Dr. Tedros, I am VV Lin, a current undergraduate student studying infectious diseases in the UK. Upon hearing your response in the press conference today, I was utterly shocked and saddened that such misleading allegation could come from a supposedly respected health professional and the head of the world's most influential international health organization. As a student who has been working closely with Taiwanese and British medical and health-related NGOs, I can affirm that there has never been any disrespectful comments from our government or our diplomats towards you and the African continent due to race, culture or skin color. I am aware that there are various petitions online urging for your resignation from the WHO. However, none of the requests or criticisms were based on discriminations against your race or skin color nor the people from the African continent. Taiwan has been striving to contribute as much as possible to the international community and to be a part of the global team in combating the pandemic. Although we have been excluded from the WHO, we have never given up. Our government has done an exemplary job in containing the virus, a feat that has been praised by health professionals and officials from all around the world. And now we have some spare capacity. We're sending aid to our airlines and other countries in Europe, America, and in Africa who have been harshly impacted by the current outbreak. According to our health professional who used to work closely with various countries in Africa, a temporary hospital has been built by Taiwan in Eswatini at the moment. And some important medical supplies sent by Taiwan are finding their way to Africa as well. With all the aforementioned in mind, how can you, in a few sentences, attempt to smear Taiwan's reputation with such false and irresponsible accusations? In the past few days, WHO hosted webinars in regards to how we, as individuals or as health professionals and officials, should confront the current epidemic. Ironically, just right after the webinar, Dr. Tedros, the Director General of the WHO, was accusing Taiwan with misinformation. I firmly believe that health is a fundamental human right that should not be denied despite differences of any kind. Health for all, leave no one behind, is also the core value that the WHO stands for. Please do not forget your dedication as a public health professional and the vows that you made when you ascended to the honorable positions that you are sitting at right now. Health of people in the world comes first, not politics. We are now facing the most challenging health crisis of our time. Taiwan cares about people's health. We are willing to help and we are helping now. Taiwan is a country that stands for progressive values. And we, as the Taiwanese people, are also known for our appreciation for diversity. We have never criticized you nor your actions based on your race, culture, or skin color. I, on behalf of my beloved country and people, am now asking for an apology from you under the current circumstance. Thank you for your time.